Hello guys, the time has finally come. We are leaving on a new adventure, this year's first adventure today. Uh, it's the 6th of June and I'm riding out of um, close to Stavanger in Norway on the southwest side. The weather is supposed to be pretty good the upcoming days, uh, so there's no time to lose really. Uh, I'm packed up in my tent and all that kind of stuff that I uh, normally do when I leave on my trip. Um, the plan for this trip very short is to go through Norway, Sweden and Denmark. Um, I'll do mostly the coast on Norway up to probably Lofoten, I think, cross over to Sweden, uh, do some uh, trans Euro trail is the plan, uh, head further south and then cross into Denmark and then go around into, into Norway again. So that's, I usually plan pretty loosely, so we'll end up, uh, we'll just have to see where, where we end up and, and uh, where, I'll, where I'll go. This year is a little bit different. Um, this is my first time leaving for a trip where I don't have a deadline as to when I have to be back home. I'll also this time for the first time try to do some video editing while I'm on the road so that I can keep you updated uh, as to where I, where I am and, and what's going on. So uh, yeah, let's not wait anymore. Let's get on the road. So as um, many of you very observant uh, watchers, crap, my key. Uh, I probably already noticed I am running a different camera setup this year. Actually, pretty much all of it um, is new. Last year I had the GoPro 7 Black. I sold them, and this year I'm using the DJI Osmo Action uh, 3. Bought them myself, no sponsors, anything going on there, FYI. And I'm very curious to see how it holds up, especially with the audio. I'm telling you guys, I've spent so much time trying to make this audio work. I thought it would be easy, you know, just change the setup from the GoPro, put it on the, the DJI, it would work fine. No, that was not the case. I spent so much time and so much money trying to find a setup that works. And ironically, the cheapest, the cheapest uh, microphone and stuff is so far uh, the setup that has uh, has worked has worked best for me so we'll see how it holds up i guess throughout hopefully this bigger windscreen will also um, be a nice upgrade in uh, the sense of better wind protection and less wind and wind noise in my helmet so yeah i guess we are gonna find out throughout the trip now, let's get this adventure started! Uh, uh, uh. On there, on there. Okay. So I'm getting close to the first ferry of today, which is down here. So here we are. A lot of times um, motorcycles will be accepted to board first on ferries, but then um, the ferry workers usually uh, come and wave you to the front. I know a lot of people just ride straight to the front and I don't know, I think it's better to just wait in line and then if they want you to board first then they will They will let you go first anyway, so How do you like my seat you guys? As you know, Loki, my Tenere had one and I made a new one for for Fenrir If you're curious about the name, Fenrir uh, is a wolf from Norse mythology, and it was actually the son of Loki, so well, fit quite well.
quite a few bikers on the road today. On the ferry as well, there were two Belgian guys uh, who just arrived in Norway and they will spend about two weeks here, so they are also very lucky with the weather. sunscreen to my painfully pale Norwegian winter skin. <laughs> oh. Oh, there we go. The camping here is open, I think. Good evening guys, um, let me show you on the map where I went today. Um, this is not the original map that I wanted to have for this trip because this is only of Norway and there, I know there exists one of like Scandinavia. I ordered it, it didn't arrive in time so this will have to do for now and then probably change uh, somewhere along the way. So I started um, here. Olgård is close to where I live, Rotru Stavanger, and then I ended up um, here, which was just under 200 kilometers, so I haven't driven far 
at all today. Um, I started pretty late. I had some work still to do on the bike before I left. But yeah, it's a good start. It's um, like I mentioned before, it's that first day back on the road, at least for me, it, like, it takes some almost like getting used to and have your mind and body realize that, okay, we're back on the road and this is how we do it. Um, yeah, the sun is almost about to disappear there in the mountain but yeah um, today was a very good very good first day and I am uh, I'm stoked to see what's coming the upcoming days um, the plan for tomorrow is to continue a little bit further uh, north obviously and then I'll probably end up somewhere in this area I guess um, there's still a long way to go up to I'll do Lofoten, and then I think I'll cross over to Sweden somewhere here, but I guess I have to see um, along the way how that goes and, and what, what happens. But that's the plan from day one, at least. Um, hopefully the cameras and the audio and everything is, is okay. I'm sharing the camp with some hens and chickens, and they had a fight and everything over here and uh, I'm, I'm curious to see if they will wake me up pretty early tomorrow um, anyway I'm off to bed soon it's about 8 30 in the evening um, it takes some time getting ready and doing dishes and that kind of stuff and once the sun goes down which it does very very soon uh, it's gonna be pretty chilly it's it's been really warm today about 25 degrees celsius when I've, I've stopped but as soon as the sun goes away it's like barely 10 degrees so it's quite quite chilly but um, it's nice temperatures to sleep in at least that's it for the first day back on the road I hope you enjoyed this episode Ugh, hair in my eye Ooh. and I hope I'll see you again in the next episode bye